Hello and welcome to WordPress User TV, the show that gives you tips, techniques and interviews around WordPress. I'll be doing a series of WordPress tutorial videos covering basic but yet powerful tips that can enhance your website. In this video, we'll be doing a parallax scrolling effect tutorial using Divi. Let's dive in and let me show you how to do it. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that uh, this parallax effect can be achieved using other themes out there, but I prefer using Divi. So I've got WordPress installed. I also have Divi installed. Now, if you'd like to use Divi for, for your web development, I have a 10% discount and I'll leave the link in the show notes below. And then also, if you do buy Divi using my theme, I will also give you a further 50% discount on my course, which is called Divi Blueprint 3. Well, this course gives you everything you need to get started designing websites using Divi. All right, let's dive into the tutorial. Right, so the first thing you wanna do here is to click on use the Divi Builder and then click on use the Visual Builder. Okay, so now we're gonna start off by um, adding a background color to this section. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I just want to show you where things are. So we just need to separate things um, on the side so you can see the parallax effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a color right here, a dark gray. And then I'm going to add another regular section. Now in this section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a divider because we need majority of our image in the background to show. So I'm going to search for a divider here and it's right here. And I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing and give it a height of say 400. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our background image. So I'm going to click this gear icon to access the settings click on background. I'm going to click this I'm going to click this third tab because this is the tab that allows us to add our image. I'm going to click this plus button here. And now it's time to choose our image. So I'm just going to go with um let's start off with this one here. Okay, I'm going to click upload an image. And now you can see our image is now in the background. Excellent. So I'm going to come over here and click save changes. Now we also need one more section but before we add that one i need to duplicate this so we can add it to the bottom of this page so i'm going to come over here and click this duplicate button here and then i'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom like that now these gray backgrounds are not part of the design i'm just doing this just to show you how the parallax effect shows so i'm going to come over here again and click this plus button click on regular i'm going to give this a single row but this time we're going to give it a bit of a design to it. So let's add some text. So I'm going to type here text to act to get our text module. And in our text module, I'm just going to enter some texts, which I'm going to get from lorem two because I hate typing. I'm going to paste my text in here. So we can see it's right there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that that text is constrained to 800 pixels. So I'm going to search for max width here for my text module and add 800. Okay, so that's looking much better. Now let's go back. In fact, I'm going to get rid of my search. Let's go into design. Let's make it uh, centered. And we're also going to change the font to Nonito. And then we're going to come over here to text font size and increase that to say about 36. And then the text line height, we're going to reduce that to about 1.5. Okay, so that's looking good so far. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then now it's time to add our background image. So I'm going to come over here, click this gear icon here, click on background. I'm going to click this third tab, click the plus button to add our image. And the image we're going to add this time is, in fact, I'll go with this one. Okay, so now that I've, now that I've selected it, I'm going to go ahead and click upload an image. Okay, so now you can see our image is there in the background. I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. Now, what I need to do now is to do a bit of tweaks so that our image really stands out and we can see most of it. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings for my text um, module, come over here to design. Uh, because our text is dark, we can't really read it. So we're going to change it here from dark to light. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to save. Now I'm going to add a bit more padding to this to this section. So I'm going to come over here to the edge and just stretch it until I get to see most of this image. So I've done that to the top. I need to do it to the bottom as well, like that. Okay, that looks much better now. 
fact, I may need a little bit more. Okay, good. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same as well. Add a bit more to the top. And add a bit more to the bottom. Okay, that's looking good. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and save. It's time to do the parallax now. So I'm going to come over here to the, the, to the top one first, click on this gear icon. Now we have two types of parallax. And uh, let me show you. So here to activate the parallax effect, you need to click on this button here. Okay, so now that it's activated, there's true parallax. Okay, and there's also CSS. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show the true parallax on the top one and then the CSS on the bottom one. Okay, so I'm going to save this true one for the top. Come over to the bottom one here. Click on the gear icon to access our settings. Click on background and then activate our parallax effect. But this time I'm going to choose CSS. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then let's take a look at our effect. So now when we scroll, you can see the parallax is working. It's a bit subtle, but you can see it is working there. So that's the true parallax. And then the bottom one is the CSS because this one reveals the image in the background as you scroll. So there you have it. This is our WordPress tutorial video that shows you how to create the parallax scrolling effect tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, do follow me on the social media platforms to be notified every time I release new videos like these.